Blessed day everyone. So in today's video, I have four topics to talk about. Asafa Powell and his wife Alicia welcome their second child. Jamaican man breaks down and wants help after trying to stay on the positive path. Massive protests happening in Jamaica by the United Independent Congress. And the man who is responsible for abusing a three-year-old child is now in police custody. So those are the topics I want to talk about. But before I get into them, don't forget to like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you don't subscribe yet. And also turn the notification bell on. That way you're notified when I post a new video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Asafa and Alicia Powell welcoming their second child. You understand? And I'm sure most of you guys must have known that she was pregnant. And even though they did not come on the internet and directly tell the people them, but of course they know it's a camera phone debut and stuff like that. You understand? So a post was made over by Pinkwall. You can see it on the screen. Asafa basically holding his son. And yes, people, is another boy him have right about now. You understand, people? So you can see the caption says baby Asafa is here so as me says as son him get a lot of persons are reacting to it I know a whole lot of people are show some positive comments and stuff but of course I know say I have some people where I have to take the time for throwing a little negativity in there so I have all of those comments to show you guys but before me do that make sure you write congratulations in the comment section because having a child is definitely a blessing you understand people so let's get to some of these comments so one person said Congratulations. An next person said one more boy. An next person said he told her it was going to be a boy. Somebody say a late. So I guess this person actually didn't know about it already. An next person said welcome. An next person said I love this couple. An next person said something which may not even go read that. An next person said congratulations towards your new bundle of joy. So yes, people, big up Asafa Powell. You don't know the thing go. Um, regardless of the thing where people try to paint out there making him look like he's a deadbeat and all of that I really feel like he's a genuine person and him actually love him you they may understand remember him even make a video addressing that so some people still I go and come up with the past things because I see some people have left them comments there and thing you understand but you don't know so why I keep this video up on a positive note and thing so big up yourself Asafa and congratulations once again but yes people moving on to the next topic so I want to talk about a video that I saw on social media Zine, basically a youth he looked to me like him a cry out for help you understand what I say and this person is like everything we am doing in life it now work out for me you understand he might try to do the right thing try to get a good job and it not really work out you understand and people these are the things where a lot of persons are go through you understand the man goes far as for same feel like for just start go out there and rap people you see it so i'm showing you the video i want to can just leave some comments and let me know when you think about it as my people so check this out actually no morning anybody will get that video yeah. isn't it yo i know i'm frustrated you see me i'm frustrated bad Watch out. Everything when me try, just a feel, 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 just a feel, feel, so. I want to me, so. Come on, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I feel. You see me? I get to our work, there's an issue. They got a different work now, there's a bomba issue again. What's up? So what? Me, nah, what kind of crime me want to commit in a life, so me? Them thing you have to reach me, so come on. You see me right now, I'm nice treat and most people just start to rob people. God know. You see me? Yo, me I have it hard in my life, you know? You see me? I'm here to try. You see me? I'm like, not try. I'm here to try. You see me? I don't want to do the wrong thing. You see me? I'm here to try to do the right thing all the while. You see me? But it's hard. You see me? You don't even understand. It's hard for me. You see me, me I try my best to stay up on the right path. I will do it right. And everything I try, I feel. Everything. You see me, I stress out now, man. I'm tired, right? You see me, I'm tired, right? Everything I try, I feel. Yes, I know I do wrong things in my life, but come on, man. You see me, I'm tired, right now. You see me, everything I try, is a feel. You see me, I'm done by my fears, my day. You see me, I'm a car run to my mother and my father and say, yo, help me. You see me, I'm tired of this now, man. And I'm there, I'm here, people just start rubbing a bag of people, you would. You see me? Some people don't even understand it. Them just see me and just see, say, oh, boy, they're a bad boy and thing. You see me? They don't even understand the hurt of me, I got through it, I say, you would. You see me? I'm tired of this now, man, brother. I don't feel I can't be here no more. I feel as if I'm mad, you. You see me? I feel as if I'm mad out right now. You see me? I'm tired right now, man. 
it's in my videos there, I'm here still. Yo, I still only even understand it, brother. It's in me. I'm literally frustrated with myself. It's in me right now, I say, yo, why? It's in me every time I get a start, something happen. It's in me. Yo, only even understand right now, you know, you. People just. You know. Yo, hear me as a school, is it? Anybody get that video? I'm just pray for me, is it? I saw me a big one. Just pray for me, car. And it gives me a moment, moment now, because I say, so, yo, one people listen to their fun. Is it? Because I'm tired, is it? I'm not going to run up and down with you, is it? Anything will happen, happen, is it? I know me not a street, and I, 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 you know, I'm not even a saint, is it? Yo, I'm just a big one, just, I'm just pray for me, that's all I can say, is it? Yeah man, so definitely a sad situation. Me see some people, I say, boy, make tears come out them eyes. And this is what a lot of persons is going through on the daily. You see me? Feel like everything where them try just now working for them favor. And those type of things will actually cause a person to actually give up. You see what I say? So the thing I have to tell this youth is, don't give up. Continue all your head up. You understand? Something will happen. And make sure you pray and put God first. Make sure you do that. And once you pray and put the Father first, then everything will just come into play. Some of the times, the things that you want, you don't forget it yet. And I feel like said this youth here, you know, him just not forgive up. Him for just continue focus, continue stay upon the straight path. Because at the end of the day, if you go out there and do all of them wrongs there, you put yourself in a problem and you put people in a problem as well. You understand? Police are going to look for you, your picture and your photo and all them things. They are going to all over the media. So it doesn't make sense to pray that way. You see my people? So as I say, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about a three-year-old youth who was badly beaten by a woman's boyfriend you understand people i spoke about it yesterday and even the day before that because as the story progress my kind of keeping updated with this you understand what i say, people well right now the police them actually wall on him because the last time i told you guys that he was on the run well him actually turning himself in the presence of his attorney. So I'm going to read something coming from the Jamaica Constabulary Force so I get a better understanding of this. And as usual, you can leave in the comments. You see me? So it says, Stepfather charged for unlawful wounding and assault of three-year-old boy. The St. Catherine North Police have laid charges against the stepfather of the child who was the subject of several social media posts recently. Charges 29-year-old Anthony Bailey, a truck driver of Berry Hill District, Riversdale, St. Catherine. He was charged with unlawful wounding an assault occasioning bodily harm. The charges reportedly stem from an incident about 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, September the 18th, in which it is alleged that Bailey allegedly threw the three-year-old boy to the ground, causing several injuries to his face. A report was made to the police and investigation launched, and Bailey was arrested and charged after he was interviewed in the presence of his attorney on Monday, September the 20th. Bailey is scheduled to appear before the St. Catherine Parish Court on Friday, September the 24th. So yes, people, definitely some positive news. The police them hold him. And to be honest, me don't even know if an attorney should even represent somebody like him. Because at the end of the day, the child is innocent. The child no do nothing at all. There's no man say, and you really got to do that to the innocent child. So anyway, moving on to what the father posted. He said, justice have been served. Words can't express how much love and support I have witnessed and I have felt since this unexpected event in the last few days. I am so grateful for the community, police officers, CDA, Star and the Gleaner Company, but most of all to everybody on the internet for sending me the help and guidance I needed. The police informed me that the man was caught and in custody behind bars. So so many heartfelt messages are deeply felt in my life regarding my son. I want to express that the mother of Jamari is not a threat to my son. Speaking with her and the grandmother, the full story was unveiled of being traumatized and scared of what the boyfriend would do if she pressed charges. She was helpless and scared in the situation, so the mother was removed from that parish due to the man's not knowing anything about that location and having a deep talk with the family and Jamari's mother. I now understand there's only so much much a woman can do when she's in an abusive household. So I would like some of the community to stop with any negative comments and threat towards her Instagram account. My main focus is to help my son get the assistance and help he needs to start his healing journey from post-traumatic stress. I want to say thanks to everyone that supported me. Not a day goes by where it goes unnoticed. I feel deeply honored. You see people, so I'm just a thank everybody for the love and the support where they must show him. And at least we can say same appreciate it. And we 
with him baby mother, him says she did afraid because she did in an abusive relationship. So you know, said that is the reason why she did say no, she now got press charges and thing. You understand what I say, people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so moving on to the next topic now so the uic which is the united independence congress is basically doing a march in a protest against the jamaica government you understand and them actually want all of the 63 mps to actually resign not sure if this protest is going to work but anyway people may go read a small article and then may go also show now video footage you understand so this is coming from the jamaica observer so it says the uic which is the united independent congress marching from Sir William's Grand Park to Gardner House to demand the resignation of all 63 MPs and protest against mandatory vaccination. So let me show you guys a small clippings so you can see exactly what's taking place. So check this out. Yeah, man, people say so you don't know. So, them are bound to fire upon the mandatory vaccination as well as want the 63 MPs to actually resign. Is it me? As I say, people, this to me, it will not happen. You understand what I say? They have to come harder than that. And it's good that they are standing up and fighting for something. But let me tell you now, people, the world basically has changed. Starting next month, I don't remember which day in next month, if you want to go to America, you will have to be fully vaccinated and them thing there. And you also have to go show a negative COVID test, right? So we can see say the pressure is already on. If you want to travel, you have to go get vaccinated, you understand? And I think the Jamaica government is pressured in to ensuring that the people them get vaccinated. You see what man say? I remember say them believe in this vaccine thing, you know. And of course we know that it's not a COVID cure or anything like that. But what them say is that it keeps you from going into the hospital from getting sick very bad and thing. You understand people? So let me know what you guys think about this still. You see me? At the end of the day, whether PNP are lead or JLP, I think this mandatory vaccination agenda would, will still be pushed. You understand what I say? Because I think the Jamaica government have to comply with certain things. I think every country leader have to comply with certain things. You understand what I say? So if you as the leader of Jamaica or certain other countries and no, you are not going to allow the people to take it and this and that, then I think, you know, you probably have blocked certain things from happening to your country. You understand? Well, if a ties might be cut off and thing and thing, is it? So I don't know, people. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn the notification bell on bless upon yourself and keep safe i'm out